Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Matt from the Glove Bros. Uh, coming to you guys with a different kind of video today. Uh, we're going to come at you guys with uh, an instructional hot water treatment uh, video, a uh, step by step process of it. And uh, we're going to be doing it on this Rawlings Hard to Hide Pro A3 AR3B. Um, you guys obviously can't see the model from over here. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing the hot water treatment today to uh, reform this beauty. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, not broken in that well. Um, so we're going to show you just a starting point. closes about right here. Uh, towards the end, hopefully, ideally, I can get it somewhere over here. And uh, reform this with a nice pocket, too. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to need um, a couple things uh, to do this. You're going to need a glove. You're going to need a big-ass pot of water. I'm going to turn on this water right now to get it to um, temperature. Temperature for this, where I like to do it, is ideally um, 150 to 160. You're also going to need a cup, which I have behind me, um, to dump the water on the glove. You're also going to need a mallet and most likely a towel. Um, that's in the other room where we're going to be showing you guys how to work on the gloves or how we like to work on them. It's cause nice break points and uh, cause a solid pocket for it. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to let this water boil, and uh, we'll come back to you whenever it's ready. Thanks. Go. All right, guys, now let's just uh, check on the temperature. It should be around what we're looking for. Um, I like it right in between 150 and 160. It's just at about 160 right now, which so you guys can see from over here. Maybe just a little over. So I'm going to take this off, move it to the station, and uh, really start the video now. Go. Alright guys, now we're going to get into the actual real hot water treatment now. I got my big cup, got my glove, and I got the big pot of boiling water. Well, not boiling yet. It's pretty hot though. Um, some things I really want to tell you guys uh, before I start, and I'm just going to really get into it, um, is that when you're dumping um, the leather, you do want to cover the entire glove. And um, as far as the liner goes, I usually uh, won't really do anything to the liner. Um, if anything, I will dump it this way, so the water will pour out. Never do it like this and fill up your fingers. All right, the fur gets wet, it's okay. Um, it happens, the fur will dry. Um, with the inside of the glove, I like to do everything uh, so it always wicks off. Um, you do want to get the glove wet, but not uh, really super drenched. Um, but that's just my opinion, some people will tell you otherwise. Um, but yeah, um, so let's just get right into it. I'll start. Watch your fingers, guys, because the water is really hot. I like to do a lot of small cups instead of um, a lot of big cups. It's just how I like to do it better. Uh, really make sure you get that lace, too. Uh, guys, if you just rolls around here, it's okay, because I mean, it's going to get wet. So. Sorry guys, I'm causing some tough angles to look at, but um, I mean, it's really what you gotta do with this glove. You gotta really get in with it. Uh, the tan gets darker, it's definitely gonna get lighter. Kind of missed on that one. Uh, there you go. Really trying to get that web. Uh, so here's what it looks like after one round of it. Uh, you can see how much darker it's gotten. Uh, I'm probably going to go through um, with another round, uh, but you guys don't have to see that. Go. All right, YouTube, here we go. We're back with the next step. Um, so here's what the glove looks like right after. Uh, super dark, super heavy. Feels like my Primo. Um, but, yeah, um, if your glove gains a lot of weight from it, don't be concerned. Uh, it's totally normal. Um, the color changes, don't worry when it dries out, um, it's going to look exactly the same as it started. Uh, so yeah, now here we go. Um, what I like to do next is uh, really get on my, the mallet, um, my ghetto ass mallet. Um, this is just a souvenir bat with duct tape and a softball on it. Um, I like to use a softball as opposed to a baseball um, so that it creates a better pocket for it and uh, you can be um, a little bit more accurate with it. Uh, so a couple things I really like to focus on, um, causing a nice U-shaped break-in. 
Uh, so with these break points here, I'm gonna really work on bashing this down. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of the mallet work, just where I like to do it. So here, I'm gonna work on hitting this down. You see how it gives it this nice curve to it with the hinge? I'll come back on the other side and do the same thing. Showing you guys in slow motion, obviously I bang the shit out of it. Um, then another one I really like to do to cause a nice pocket, sorry, I'm just like forming my hand, is to hit it right in the pocket with it. Put my hand here, and I'm just gonna pound the pocket. Just pound the crap out of the pocket. You guys also wanna cause a deeper pocket. Put the glove right here, and push down. Push, push, cause yourself a nice pocket. Put it right in the, in the web, push. Push, there you go. And just keep rolling it. Um, you can make it as deep as you want, uh, depending on uh, how you like it. Another thing, guys, stretch the laces. I pull the laces and stretch them. I tightened them right before I did this video. And now look at them. They're already perfect, all right? So you really want, you want to make sure when you're doing the hot water, you really want to put on the lace. The lace is one of the most important things when it comes to the break-in. It's not just the leather, it's also the lace. All right, so uh, we're gonna keep working on this and then we'll get back to you guys. Go. All right, YouTube, uh, here's the glove after, well, almost after. Uh, this is right after we pounded it and um, reshaped it, stretched it out nice. It took about 20 minutes to do it. Now I'm gonna show you guys a ball in the pocket. Remember what it looked like before when it was over here? Now, it completely closes over a ball. <laughs> this is just after 20 minutes of work. And naturally, and get right here just like I told you it would. Now, the most important thing, the most crucial step in this entire process, put it outside, put it in your room, do whatever you gotta do, let it dry, don't rush it back. Let it be fully dry before you start playing with it again, at least 24 hours. We're putting an update video up once this thing completely dries, but for right now, we're signing off YouTube, thanks.